Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. And today we are going to be jumping back in to Extreme Super Battle Road to take on the Extreme Int stage one more time because honestly, it was just really fun the first time around. And as you guys can see, I recently pulled LR Super Saiyan 2 Angel Vegeta. This uh, all happened off camera, that's why you guys didn't see it. But I thought this would be the best place to test them out. And yes, this is in fact my LR Vegeta. Nobody else's, not a friend, or anything like that. You know, I don't really know why there isn't a little lock icon in the top right corner. Usually there is, but for some reason today there isn't. It might just be like a visual glitch on global right now. You know what? I'm gonna go hit up Bandai after this video so that we can all get our uh, proper compensation for this visual glitch happening right now. Okay, fine, it's not my Vegeta. <laughs> I wish it was, man. I really wish it was. I tried to pull him. I really did. I spent over 2,400 stones at this point. I think it's exactly 2,450 stones spent on that stupid double LR banner. And I've pulled three Majin Vegetas, a bunch of other LRs. I'm not complaining. Like, the luck has been okay, but I just can't pull this guy. And uh, I think I'm gonna just have to wait until... You know, he becomes available in the Baba Shop in like six to nine months and buy him with coins. It is what it is. But there is the friend lead with two dupes actually and also almost max links. That's crazy. And uh, as far as my team goes, we got the fully extreme Z Awakened LR Gohan, who's really good. He's not Vegeta, but still very solid. We got Fizz Vegito Blue. We got LR Krillin, LR Gogeta, Stun Ku, and the absolutely amazing is Tien. So at the very least, I have this guy, even if I don't have Vegeta. And without further ado, let's jump in here and uh, have some fun, hopefully. Oh, yo, this is the perfect first rotation, man. All three of these guys can stun. We got Goku and Gohan together, who obviously work really, really well together. And with Gohan getting that additional like 58% damage reduction, I don't think we actually have to use an item here. Um, yeah, you know what, I'm gonna risk it a little bit. Let's just go for, let's see, let, let's go for Tao. Uh, I'm gonna give him four orbs there for the 12 key, so we have a medium chance to stun there. If that doesn't work, then we can definitely stun. Well, not definitely, but have, we have like a 70% chance to stun with stun coup. That's it, it's in his name, that's his job, right? And then we will give a couple orbs to Tien. Hopefully we can just stun both these guys. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so 3k, no items. That's really good for Extreme Super Battle Road. And we did not get the stun there. Okay, that's fine. Getting super 53k. I'll take it. I'll take it. All right, Goku, do your thing. There we go. There we go. I was, I was kind of nervous for a second, but it worked out. We're okay. And Tien stunned as well. So everybody's stunned. And look at that attack stat, man. Look at that friggin' attack stat under a, what, what would it be? Like one, 100, no, 120 percent lead, and then Vegeta's only giving 100 percent, no? No, actually, I think Tien's in Worthy Rivals, so he's actually getting 150 percent, but still, but still, that's very impressive attack from a support unit who's also greatly lowering attack and defense, uh, supporting, of course, uh, just doing his thing, man, I love this unit. I love this unit. All right, uh, they're both stunned. No, oh, no, actually only he's stunned. So we still gotta be careful about him. Uh, maybe we can just kill him. Maybe we can just kill him. So let me just give these orbs to Vegeta. And I'm gonna give these to Gogeta. We can probably just kill him here. And then if not, then maybe Krillin can get some stun action going as well. I think he's also 30%, so it's a little bit rare but there's always a chance. There's always a chance. All right, Vegeta did some good damage, nothing crazy. All right, Gogeta's gonna finish the job, and since we killed him, and Tao is already stunned, we should be good to go for the first stage here. Now, I don't wanna take things too easy because I have been screwed multiple times in the past when I got too confident, so uh, we're still gonna be fairly cautious here, but I think I think we got this one. Uh, he stunned. Maybe we'll just stun him again. 
on this turn with stun coup for good measure, and then Vegito Blue is definitely gonna finish the job. Alright, Vegito Blue is like made for events like this. He is such a monster. If you guys missed my video from a couple days ago where I was uh, going through the list of like the new top 10 hardest hitting TURs in the game, Vegito Blue was number one on that list by like a long shot, man. It wasn't even close actually. Um, the difference between him at number one and Beerus at number two, I think it was Beerus at number two, it was like three million attack per turn difference, man. Beerus had like nine million and Vegito had, I think about, ooh, should I be careful here? He's not, oh, he is stunned, never mind. We're good. I forgot he was stunned for a second. But uh, Vegito had like 12 million attack per turn compared to nine million for Beerus, which is just dumb. That's just stupid. So uh, yeah, if you guys haven't seen it yet, go check it out. It was a fun video. Shout out to everybody that made that list on the Dokkan subreddit. And uh, yeah, Vegito Blue is definitely deserving of that title, man, because he's just insane. Even though he's like, I mean, how long have we has it been since we got his ECA? It's been like a year, right? Or maybe less, actually. My memory these days is very bad because uh, with the whole situation in the world, you know, like everything's just a blur now. But either way, he's a very old unit to start. And then he got an EZA recently. But still, like EZAs, Extreme Z Awakenings, refreshes for old units should not be that good. But it just is. It just is, man. He's so good. Okay, you know what? Enough praise from Jito Blue. Let's uh, continue this run. I need water. My voice is gone. <clears throat> Okay, okay, we're back. So, do I need to pop an item here? I'm actually a little bit worried because I feel like Krillin could actually screw us in case Stun Ku doesn't stun, even though that's literally his only job. He has, you know, failed us before. So let's pop an Icarus right now. And there goes our no item run, but honestly, I wasn't really going for a no item run anyways. So that's fine. And we're gonna try to stun Frieza here. Okay, and uh, we'll just give one orb to Krillin. Hopefully, you know, in case Stunku fails, then maybe Krillin will come through. Maybe. Oh, look at that tanking, man. 42 damage. 42 damage for a super attack on extreme super battle. That is unheard of. I mean, only this man, basically. Only this guy. I say man, but he's a kid, right? Kid Krillin. No, not Krillin, sorry, uh, Gohan. <laughs> it's been a long day, guys, forgive me, forgive me. All right, Krillin, come on, give me some stuns. Okay. Oh, oh, nice. Okay, no, for a second I was gonna be like, are you really gonna stun the only person that's already stunned? No, but he stunned Frieza, and he stunned Dodoria, so we only have to worry about Sarabon here. Um, let me think, let me think. Hmm, do I keep Vegeta, or do I keep... Tien. Uh, you know what? I'm actually put Tien there. He might get punished pretty hard if we get supered, but we won't die, that's for sure. And I'm gonna just give one orb to him for that stun on Dodoria, or sorry, uh, Zarbon. And mm, between Vegeta and Vegito Blue, you know what? I'm gonna actually go for some Vegito Blue action here. Uh, since we can't get a super, let's just save. Just save as many orbs as we can and i'll give him like one orb here and i'll just give one orb to vegeta like this is this is kind of rough actually these guys don't link too well but vegeta blue most likely will get multiple supers so i'm not worried about him and then maybe vegeta will get an additional two since he's you know uh 79 Ooh. okay so we double stunned him actually <laughs> right i forgot he actually can stun on normals too that's amazing uh, let's see. Okay, so we got some Frieza attacks and we got some Zarbon attacks. Mostly Frieza attacks, though. Let's actually... Hmm. Okay, this board looks terrible. This is not a good-looking board. Uh, let's give one orb to Gohan. We're gonna go for the stun on Frieza, and then I'm gonna just try to kill Frieza here. If we can. If not, then we should still be okay. We don't have any items active, I believe. So this this actually might hurt a bit. 58k though. I can definitely live with that, man. I can definitely live with that. 
Okay, uh, there's the stun. Perfect. Maybe double stun for good measure. Just make sure he's down. There we go. There's the double stun. And uh, we didn't quite finish him off, but we definitely will this turn. Um, actually, a couple of Doria attacks there. Let me... Mm, we're gonna play it safe, man. We're gonna play it safe. I'm I'm done with taking risks. I'm done with uh, just dying for no reason. So we're gonna go for Dodoria here. Um, that is not quite a super, but close enough. And we'll give two orbs to Krillin, and we should at least kill Dodoria here. Should at least kill him. Frieza is stunned, so I'm not worried about him right now. Okay, close, close, and that should do, no, he's still alive, damn. At least we got a bunch of additional normals. And Zarbon, don't super me, thank you. Perfect, worked out, there's the counter. And then Krillin is gonna stun somebody here. Yes? Ah, uh, he stunned the guy that was already stunned, of course. Of course. Very useful, man. Thank you very much. Um, Alright, so... Yeah, Frieza's stunned right now. Actually, no, he's he's stunned again this turn. He wouldn't have been stunned if he wasn't stunned by Krillin. So, actually, that actually worked out. My bad, my bad. Okay, Krillin. I did not mean to disrespect. Okay, that's my mistake. Let's uh, just get through this. And... I think I'm just nervous at this point, man. I'm just nervous. I've been screwed too many times on, on this event to... to you know, like, feel safe ever. So, yeah. If I'm saying some things that don't make sense during this video, um, just take it as nerves, okay? And and just just pretend I didn't say, I didn't say it. And if I had said stuff that made sense, then then that's the stuff you listen to, right? Okay, third fight here. Third fight, we got four enemies. A little bit scary, but. If we pop like a, like a Whis immediately, we should be fine. We actually have a token attack. Uh, I could probably save it until next turn. But who, who would I want to take that token attack next turn? Right, because Vegeta's not coming back for two more turns. So maybe I should try to get the token attack this turn. Which would mean that we would want Gogeta to probably take this one. Um, oh, tough, man. Because I want to keep Krillin. Or not Krillin. I want to keep... Tien here as well but I think you know what we might actually not even get the token attack this turn hmm so maybe there's no point okay you know what let's let's try to go for the stun on cooler and I'm just gonna focus actually all my attacks on cooler here all right I'm, I'm gonna try to focus all my attacks on cooler I'm gonna give these to Vegito and that's going to be a decent super for Gogeta. Ah, I thought it was going to be 18 key, actually. I thought it was going to be 18 key. Or one key off. Alright, that was some pretty good tanking from Tien. I'm, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I'm not impressed by the lack of stunning. Okay, that kind of sucked. But it's okay, man. I forgive him. Because he's, he's come through for me so many times now. That I can't really complain if like every once in a while... He doesn't get a stun. Alright. Uh, Gogeta might kill him. Gogeta might kill Cooler. And Cooler, um, I'm 99% sure, hits the hardest out of all these guys. So if Cooler's down, then I'm actually not too worried about any anybody else. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, it looks like a token attack is coming. I'm gonna have to give it to... I'm gonna have to give it to Gohan. And he, he's the one that makes sense anyways, I guess. Um, actually, I think the only attacks on the second slot are cooler, no? Oh, him as well. Okay, so let's try to stun him. Yeah, let's try to stun him. There's the token attack. And then... Uh, I'm gonna actually go for the 12 key for Krillin, just so we can potentially get some more stuns here. <laughs> Alright. Alright, pretty good run so far, guys. Alright, there's been, I think, a few misclicks for orbs, but overall, uh, I gotta say, this is one of the smoother runs I've had with Extreme Super Battle Road. And we've only used about three items, right? Three or four? Maybe two. <laughs> I, th I think it's three. I think it's three. So, uh, yeah. 
we should get through this with no issues but once again don't don't ever want to get too confident we killed everybody oh i did not see that one coming whoa i i thought we were gonna like get everybody to like fairly low hp i didn't know we we're gonna kill everybody in one shot though well damn okay uh we've used one two three items so far we got a pop a wheeze obviously for this turn just for added security and uh let's go with tien first and i'm a stun i'm a stun boo right that's that's the best play here uh, you know what? Let's just try to kill Boo. We're just gonna go for Boo. There we go. All right. All right. Let's get it. 2.6, 3.8. Even a super shouldn't do too much damage here. But we didn't get supered. So that was blessed. Uh, oh, Tian, come on. Oh, there's the stun. Okay, there's the stun. Yeah. No, luckily he can stun on the normal attack. So... Obviously, give him as, give him as many additionals as you can. Um, actually, I think I went for a bit of a split. I went with like 17 additional and eight or nine crit or something like that. I forgot the actual split, but I I, I went with like mostly additional still because obviously, even if you don't get the additional super, if you get the additional normal attack, you can still have the stun active. Um, so Boo is oh no, he only stuns for one turn. Okay, so. Who's not stunning anymore, but we can probably... How many Bobby attacks are there in the middle here? I think it might be two? It's two, okay. So let me think. Um, Maybe we can go for the Boo stun with Gohan first. And then we can try to stun... Should I stun? Oh man, I don't know actually. It looks like it's mostly boo attacks and then two bobbity. So three boo, four boo, and then two bobbity attacks. Something like that. Um, don't want to make a mistake here. But we do have Whis active still. So even if Goku gets supered, he has what, 60k defense? I mean, it's not good, but... Hmm, I think I'm a, you know, I, I'm a, tr I'm a trust Gohan to actually stun for us here. Okay, I'm, I'm a trust him to stun for us here. And, uh, hopefully it works out, man. Hopefully it works out. I mean, 30% is not bad, right? There we go. Okay, I got, I got so lucky though. <laughs> I actually got so lucky though. Um, I, wow, double stun too. I was actually not expecting that to work out, but luckily it did. Um, I wasn't expecting Goku to be the one to not stun though, honestly. Because what is his chance to stun? It's like really high, man. It's really, really high. He, he has like a, I, I believe a 70% chance. Yeah, I think a 70%. So I'm not, not really sure what happened there. But okay, I mean, I mean, sometimes that's just how 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 things shake out. So that's okay, man. At least at least we got the stun on the one that on the on the on the unit that matters more. That that was gonna hit a lot harder. And now we should kill Bobbity. So it is essentially over. Yeah, there's no chance that we're gonna lose this one. Four items used, four out of eight potentially. So I feel pretty good about that. I feel pretty good about that. Um, and, uh, yeah, once we get more used to these extreme SBR stages, I will be back with potentially some no item runs, but right now we're just gonna have fun with it, right? And, uh, you know, try to conserve our items as much as possible. Man, Gohan is going off with the stuns. He's, he's stunned mo way more, actually, than, than stun coup. Like, the dude's name is literally stun coup. The dude's name is literally Stunku. I mean, like it's not his official name, right? But like, still, that's what we call him because that's his job to stun, and he hasn't stunned as much as the uh, kid Gohan, which is kind of wild. Yo, Vegito Blue, had to 
had to show out a little bit before we ended off the showcase because he hasn't been as impressive as I'm like used to um, him usually being. So he was like, yo, look, like I, I know I haven't done the things that I normally do, but let me just show you real quick at the end there what I'm all about still. Okay, so new record time, which doesn't seem like that fast, but 17 minutes, I, I guess that's okay. Uh, two Whis is used, two Icarus is used. We saved all the Aiders, saved all the Princess Snakes. You know, I would have liked to use less items, but I, I feel pretty good about this one, honestly. So that's the run, guys. That's That was a fun time. And shout out to Drunken Moose, I think the name was, for uh, lending us your, your LR Vegeta. Congratulations, I'm pulling three copies. When some people came and pulled one, um, that's life though, right? No, it's, it's not always fair. It's not always fair. I bet he spent like 150 stones to pull those three too. It's just like back to back to back multis of uh, Vegeta's. I, I, I bet that's what happened, man. I mean, there's no way to confirm, but I have a feeling. Anyways, that is today's video, guys. That is Extreme Int Super Battle Road taken down like it's nothing. All right, that was super chill, actually. If you guys have been having trouble with the stage, try bringing something like this. Um, obviously, my guys are all rainbowed, but uh, you don't have to have everybody rainbowed to be able to beat it. It might just be a little bit harder, but uh, this team does really well. So uh, yeah, give it a shot and good luck. And that is today's video. I'm gonna leave it off on my boy Tien here because I love him. But that is the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button. To join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.